These first couple of clips are me getting the uh, well enough quest points for the quest kit, so completing all the quests. The first one was Dragon Slayer 2, which I actually really enjoyed. Definitely would recommend doing that quest, or if you're going to go for a quest kit, save it till the end, because it's a really nice quest to finish on. Uh, I finished on Monkey Madness Part 2, which was decent, um, but I don't think it's as good as Dragon Slayer 2. There's a lot more storyline and uh, a lot more fun things to do in Dragon Slayer 2 than there was Monkey Madness 2. Uh, Monkey Madness 2 was still good though. Uh, these clips are just me in pest control because after Monkey Madness 2 and, and well getting a quest cape and Dragon Slayer 2 and all that lot, I decided to kill Vorkaf for a bit uh, and I needed uh, Elite Void to do that. So I went to pest control and got enough points to do that and got all the equipment for Void so now I've got full Elite Void which is quite handy. Then obviously I need um, Salvami E imbued. So that's why there's a clip of me in Nightmare Zone here. Uh, I need to get all the points for that to get the amulet imbued. And it was really good actually against Vorkaf, obviously. You need it to the, the Salve Amity is obviously helpful against undead monsters, and Vorkaf is an undead dragon. So that's why it's so helpful. But it was really good if you've got it. And I do recommend killing Vorkaf if you've got the requirements for it and you've got the gear for it. There's a few, well, these next lot of clips and pictures are just my Vorkaf tabs and Vorkaf kills and stuff. That one was me killing Vorkaf with no food used whatsoever, which is quite cool. Uh, this is my 100th kill of Vorkaf. I uh, didn't get anything from it. I didn't get, absolutely get any uniques from Vorkaf itself, apart from the head, which you guaranteed to get in uh, 50 kills. So I think I ended up with about five of them, but uh, they're good. You need the, f the first head to get the Avas Assembler, I think it's called. Then the upgraded Avas Accumulator, yeah, it's called Avas Assembler. Now, I'm no expert at, at PVM, but I found Vorkaf really fun, really cool to learn. I found its mechanics really interesting as well. It's got a lot of different mechanics within the fight itself that uh, are quite cool. You get used to them. Obviously, there's a fireball that goes up, and if you stood underneath it, that just kills you straight away. If you stood one square uh, away from it, then it does like half damage. I think it often hits me like 56s. Uh, there's the green splats, which at first I was just walking, walking right to the back and then just going to and fro from uh, like east to west east to west all all over and putting my run energy off but then i was you know developed some confidence as you do and learnt the wooks walk i think it's called but i wasn't doing it properly i wasn't running i wasn't doing it efficiently i was still getting some hits in though while i was doing it so it was quite cool quite impressed with myself i finally learnt some decent pvm i got my personal best volcaf kill down to one minute 25 i think with pretty standard gear uh, there was I just used uh, Void Elite for it and Blowpipe and I think uh, Archer's Ring Im, uh, imbued and whatnot. So yeah, it was quite cool. Uh, there you go, that's me getting 99 range, finally. Uh, max combat, but I have been for ages, but I have been on 98 range for like, seems like forever. And I'm on, I think, 97 mage. Just haven't but been bothered to train it to 99. I don't see the point in it, really. I thought I'd get them both through Slayer. But I didn't, uh, so it's been quite nice to uh, do Vorkaf for a while and, and get that 99 range finally ticked off and made quite a lot of money in the process actually. I think I made around 25 mil, uh, 22 to 25 mil somewhere on there uh, in the 200 kills that I did. I ended up getting an average of uh, 1 mil per 10 kills. So every 10 kills you did, you got roughly a mil between like 900k and 1.1 mil. It's pretty decent actually because every kill, once you get decent at it, once you get pretty good at the boss, every kill is about 2 minutes, 2 minutes 50 around. Depends what gear you're using obviously, you can speed it up and like I say I'm, I'm no expert PVMer so uh, the, obviously there's, I think I know some people have got like sub 1 minute times, I think the fastest time is like 46 seconds or something crazy so you can, you know, you can really improve your, your kills prowl with Vorkath if you put some effort into it but if you're just an average PVMer like me then you probably get around two to three minutes per kill, which is still, like I say, you're making about every hour, it's about one mil, 1.5 mil, obviously it depends uh, what drops you get. But I got no unique drops from the boss itself and still ended up with about 20, 22 mil, something like that. So definitely worth a try if you've done Dragon Slayer 2 and you, uh, you, know, you want to learn some relatively hard PVM tactics or PVM monsters. Then I used the supplies from Vorkaf, the dragons, the dragon hides mainly, uh, to get some crafting XP because I thought, why not? It's there. Uh, I can use a tan hide leather spell, so I did that to get magic up a bit. Uh, didn't actually get a level, but I just thought free XP, isn't it? I 
killed Volkov for it. It's just come out of nowhere, basically. So I can just tan the leather and, and then get some um, some Craft and XP. Then after that, I looked at my bank and I decided that I had far too many herbs and far too many vials and, and you know, basically enough supplies to get some herbal levels. So I went ahead and got uh, 86 herbal and then this next clip is me getting 87 herbal and I'm currently still training herbal now, just finishing off the, uh, my rest of my sour brews, which is quite cool. Uh, hopefully I'll get, I want to get for 90 for the first raids, but we'll see how far I get. So we've got three levels in this video, pretty cool. Uh, almost a fourth level, almost got 88 herb lore, but didn't quite make it. Uh, this is the first Road to Max video that I'm gonna put out. Um, the second one, obviously, hopefully get a few more levels. I think I'm gonna move on to construction, see how many levels we can just smash out there. I wanna get to 90, I wanna get to base 90, I think next, instead of just plowing through one skill at a time, uh, make it a bit, put, you know, add some variety in there, do some different skills at different times, and uh, I'll mix it up and see how we go. But yeah, we're gonna do road to max until uh, we've we've max. We're we've got a hundred and seventy eight total levels to go because we're one we're we're two thousand and ninety nine now, and the max is two two seven seven. So we've not you know not far off. Uh, most of the skills we've got left are either AFKable or buyable. The hardest ones are gonna be agility and mining. I think um, thieving is not too bad. You can do knights, but yeah, agility. Uh, it's just a bit click and repetitive intensive likewise with mining it just goes on seems to go on forever and ever but uh, we'll get there um so yeah i hope you've enjoyed it um if you want to see anything extra in these videos let me know uh, i'll try and get as much content out as i can uh, but i'm still working at the moment will be up until august time so yeah i can't really smash out any skills at the moment but yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you're new, uh, let me know if you want to see anything else, like I said, and um, we'll see how we get on in the next video.